In a move that has shaken up the global defense and aerospace sectors, Turkey has officially completed the acquisition and reassembly of Italy's Piaggio Aerospace, marking the beginning of a new era in European aviation cooperation. Piaggio Aerospace, once a symbol of Italy's challenging aviation past, is now poised for a revival, supported by Turkey's ambitious vision, technological prowess, and strategic integration through the Baykar ecosystem. Under Turkish leadership, Piaggio Aerospace's revival is not simply a reactivation, but a true overhaul. Engineers from the Turkish aerospace sector representing companies such as TAI, Turkish Aerospace Industries, Baykar, and TEI have joined Italian experts in Genoa and Villanova del Benga to modernize production lines and integrate next-generation propulsion and avionics technologies. Baykar CEO Haluk Bayraktar described the initiative as a fusion of heritage and innovation, stating that Piaggio's legacy of design excellence will be integrated into Turkey's cutting-edge autonomous and defense systems. The goal, to redefine European aerospace independence while maintaining NATO interoperability. The Piaggio P-180 Avanti is one of the world's most advanced twin turboprop business aircraft. With its distinctive three-lifting surface configuration, the Avanti redefines aerodynamics in aviation design. Unlike traditional layouts, the Avanti uses a narrow forewing, main wing, and horizontal stabilizer, an arrangement that drastically reduces drag and improves fuel efficiency. The result is an aircraft that flies faster than many jets in its class while consuming up to 40% less fuel. The Avanti cruises comfortably at speeds above 400 knots, 740 km h, and altitudes up to 41,000 feet. Powered by Pratt & Whitney, PT-6A 66B engines mounted in a pusher, configuration, another rare design choice that minimizes cabin noise and vibration. Hybrid Electric Propulsion jointly developed by TEI and Piaggio engineers. Lightweight composite materials for increased efficiency and lower emissions. Autonomous flight support and AI-assisted navigation are a first for a civil turboprop aircraft in Europe. The new P-180neo is expected to return to production in 2026, targeting executive transport and light ISR applications. Turkish and Italian officials confirmed that several prototypes have been designed through cooperation between Ankara and Liguria. This moment is not simply a business transaction, but a strategic renaissance. With Piaggio Aerospace under Turkish management and technological influence, Turkey has expanded its growing influence in the European defense industry, reaffirming its role as one of NATO's most innovative and independent members. Founded in 1884, Piaggio Aerospace has long been a hallmark of Italy's aviation heritage best known for its P-1180 Avanti Executive turboprop aircraft, renowned for its distinctive design, speed, and fuel efficiency. However, in the 2010s, the company's financial difficulties led to bankruptcy proceedings, halting production, and leaving hundreds of highly skilled engineers and technicians in limbo. Over the years, numerous bidders and international consortia have tried to rescue the company but none have succeeded in restoring its strategic direction until Turkey stepped in. Through Baykar and the Turkish Defense Industries Board, SSB, Ankara proposed a plan not only to rescue Piaggio Aerospace, but also to transform it into a key pillar of a new European-Turkish aerospace alliance. Turkey plans to make Piaggio Aerospace a hub for the development of turboprop, jet and hybrid electric aircraft bridging civil and military aviation. The reconfigured Piaggio will focus on modernizing the P.180 Avanti Evo with Turkish avionics, AI-assisted flight systems, and hybrid propulsion. Developing new unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, inspired by Piaggio's aerodynamic expertise and Baykar's drone combat experience producing high-efficiency engines through a collaboration between TEI and Piaggio's engine division, supporting NATO transport and ISR, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. 
capabilities through light aircraft platforms. Turkey's aerospace industry has experienced rapid growth over the past decade. From the Bayraktar TB2 and Akinju combat drones to the Kia'an fifth generation fighter jet, Ankara has evolved from a technology consumer to a global innovation leader. By rebuilding Piaggio Aerospace, Turkey is expanding its reach into the European manufacturing network. This plan involves integrating Piaggio facilities with Turkey's aerospace infrastructure. Baykar will oversee digital avionics and autonomous systems. TAI will contribute structural engineering and materials expertise. TEI will support hybrid engine and propulsion design. Havelsan and Asselsan will develop software, communications, and mission systems. Turkey's acquisition of Piaggio Aerospace is not merely industrial, it is geopolitical. It sends a strong message to Europe that Turkey seeks partnership, not competition. It positions Turkey as a bridge between Western technology and regional autonomy, fostering a shared industrial vision beyond traditional national boundaries. For NATO, this signals the emergence of a new defense industrial balance. Turkey's evolving capabilities, from drones to fighter jets, are no longer limited to national defense but are becoming an integral part of the supply chain and readiness of allies. With Piaggio Aerospace now under a Turkish-led structure, NATO can benefit from enhanced logistics, surveillance, and light aircraft maintenance capabilities in Europe itself. A senior defense analyst from Rome commented, This isn't an acquisition, it's a rebirth. Turkey isn't just buying Piaggio, it's giving it a future. This could set a precedent for how Europe revitalizes its old industries through new partnerships. Economic and industrial impact beyond defense implications, this reassembly creates a new industrial corridor between Turkey and Italy. This will secure thousands of jobs in both countries and open new avenues for research collaboration. For Italy, it preserves one of its most iconic aviation brands. For Turkey, it provides a strategic manufacturing base in the European Union, boosting trade and technology exchange within NATO and bilateral frameworks. Furthermore, Piaggio's expertise in high-performance aerodynamics complements Turkey's growing interest in sustainable aviation technologies. Together, they aim to pioneer hybrid and electric aircraft systems for next-generation business jets and reconnaissance platforms. A symbol of Turkey's global ambitions, in a Firm. Reacquisition of Piaggio Aerospace marks another milestone in Turkey's broader strategy, the National Technology Initiative, Milli Technologi Hamlesi, which emphasizes domestic development, international cooperation, and technological sovereignty. Through this acquisition, Turkey demonstrates its capacity not only to innovate, but also to restore and modernize historic Western industries. This demonstrates that Ankara's defense transformation transcends national borders, realizing a new model of transnational technological synergy. According to Baykar's leadership, we are not only reviving a company, we are also rebuilding Europe's confidence in its ability to innovate. Together, Turkey and Italy can set a new direction for the future of aerospace. Future of aerospace.